Hey there, it's Monday, it's November 9th. I'm meteorologist Ashton Altieri in Colorado's Weather Center. So as we've been saying, snow is on the way for today. And for the most part, it's going to wait until after 12 noon before it gets here. Here's 9 a.m. We're pretty quiet, just cloudy. And then by noon, we should see at least some snow falling over here in the foothills of Jefferson Boulder and Lamar County. So if you're above 6,000 feet to the west, you could have some snow by noon. The rest of us will probably wait until later, probably a few hours later. By 4 p.m., we should have snow across much of the Denver metro area. It's going to be light for the most part. And that snow continues through at least the early to mid-evening hours. By midnight tonight, just about all the snow should be to the east of the airport. And we'll continue to see that snow in sections of Adams and Arapahoe counties out there near Deer Trail and leader into the late night hours tonight, and then it'll all wrap up by daybreak tomorrow. How much snow are we talking? Not much. For most of us, an inch or two at most. If you're over in the foothills, there's the potential for more than four inches of snow. Meanwhile, temperatures will go nowhere today. Afternoon temps will be in the 30s. Uh, and we're going to see that across much of the state, 20s and 30s for the vast majority of Colorado. Cold front does not reach southeast Colorado today, so we'll still see temps in the 60s down there. Kind of a taste of what they had over the weekend. Winter storm warning goes until 11 p.m. today for the San Juan Mountains. Notice north of Highway 50, no advisories, no warnings. We could still get up to six inches of snow over Vail Pass and above 10,000 feet elsewhere along the I-70 mountain corridor. But it's going to be down here in southwest Colorado where the highest Widespread additional snow will be four to eight inches around Telluride, Purgatory, Silverton, and Lake City. So after 38 today, we drop, uh, climb up to 48 tomorrow, stay in the 40s for Veterans Day on Wednesday and Thursday, and a little bit warmer on Friday 56, and it looks like a lot warmer for next week.